Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to Austria Track Garden Setup. This time, it's going to be a relatively short left, right? It's only nine turns, ten maybe, if you want to take turn three as a kink or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, Austria is a very fast track, a very short track. So there's not going to be much chance for you to make mistake and recover the lap time. Uh, we're going to go through the slow-mo hot lap corner by corner, uh, followed by the setup by myself and also set up provided by uh, our good friend Mavis and finally you'll be uh, enjoying the full speed hot lap at the end and very quickly thank you to all channel members and subscribers for supporting the channel in the way you love let's get into the track guide first and uh, to begin your lap as it's the same uh, how you end your lap as well here and uh, I'm just pausing it so you can see uh, roughly where you want to be turning in right uh, there's no real reference mark but there's a uh, little exit road on the left that gray part that's sort of my rough turning in point or you can use anything on your right on the pit whichever you love make sure you use all the curb of the exit to start your lap and now bring your car over to the left hand side over the curb and spot that 100 meter bot because you're going to be braking right after that so around 80 meters or so and aim for the curb from far off like pretty much take a lot of it and Again on the exit, take a lot of it, but this time we lose a bit of momentum because we take a little too much of the curb. Anyway, for turn three, bring your car again over to the left hand side, spot that 100 meter board and brake at the 100 meter uh, over this curb as well. You wanna make sure one tire is on the green part, one tire is on the black part, uh, so you don't bottom out on the curb. Tight on the entry, uh, this is going to allow your car to open up on the exit, keep it straight, and uh, activate DRS and again we lose a bit of time here despite being on a higher downfall so again it's a weird thing in Austria for turn 4 once again the 100 meter board that white line there is as a reference one tire on the uh, black one tire on the green stuff and then down to third gear or fourth gear for this corner and then yeah again very tight on the entry and let the car run wide on the exit um, and then bring the car back to the right hand side to gain you some time on the entry and now for turn f 6 I believe, yeah, again spot that 50 meter mark, that white line, uh, right as you pass that, before that curb ends, uh, that's going to be your turning in point. Downshift to 5th and keep good amount of throttle there. And then for the next left hander here, as the curb ends, there's a lot of white lines intersecting here, that's your turning in and lift off a little bit. You don't need to downshift, maybe down to 5th if you need so. Either way, you get a clean run here. And now into the last two corners turn nine here spot that 50 meter mark and then turn in with a little bit of a downshift no braking required and take a lot of the curb but don't take more than half and uh, let the car run wide on the exit and similar to how you started the lap you're going to end your lap the same way and uh, important thing is on the entry here take a lot of this inside curb you can take a lot of it and it's going to gain you time it's going to help you to get a better exit as well. And across the line, that a very fast, very quick lap around Austria. Uh, by, by quick, I mean it's done in just about a minute. Uh, still about a second away from world record. Nothing that I'm uh, too ashamed of. But yeah, uh, here we are. We're going to go into the race setup first that I've created. And uh, seems decent when trying out against AI and against people. It's, well doable right uh, you never know some people may run high downfalls some may run lower but either way this is my high downfalls version which is 32 24 wings and you can definitely go lower than that if you want to you can run something like 30 22 you know you can go down to two clicks or three clicks or four clicks uh, but nothing lower than four otherwise you already start to lose a lot of downfalls in the car and you're going to compromise your exits here and we want a transmission 80 percent on throttle to give you good rotation to the high speed you can use 90 or 100 at slower speed corners like turn one and turn three turn four like those uh, otherwise you know 80 is a good all-rounder amount to use and then we're keeping the off throttle at 20 percent to give you a little bit of stability over the curbs and high speed corners uh, in the race you want to be using 30 percent just to be a little bit more safe 100 percent on the engine braking is the fastest way to go around in this game 
and then we move on to the suspension geometry everything minimum like usual no changes to that uh, that's also the fastest way and then we move on to suspension which is uh, a little bit soft on the front because there's a lot of bumps around here surprisingly uh, so I've softened it to 31 at the same time I've raised the front right here to 24 to be able to take a lot of the curbs and the bumps and same story for the rear uh, one on the rear to absorb a lot of the curbs and 65 on the rear right height so that it's high enough to absorb the bumps and also take the curbs uh, as I need to otherwise you know the car is just going to spin on every curb and uh, for the anti-roll bars 21 on the front keeps it quite stable uh, 16 on the rear is just to give you a good amount of rotation without over rotating the car obviously you can go higher on the anti-roll bar uh, maybe 18 19 to get more rotation but you know with more rotation comes more instability if you can live with that go for it and we move on to the brake pressure 100% as usual and uh, 52 brake bias for the middle sector and final sector and everywhere else you can use a little bit higher like 53 54 55 again it's personal preference how much brake pressure you want to use and maximum tire pressures for qualifying and for the race and that's it now that's the first setup now let's go into the second setup here by Mavis as you can see it's way quicker almost two tenths and uh, for a good reason because as you've got to see well so much more downforce right uh, in sector 2 and sector 3 this is a mighty mighty setup uh, very quick there uh, but you're going to be losing about two tenths on the first sector which is just two straights so you're going to be sacrificing a little bit of top speed but you can definitely lower the downforce by five flicks as you need so and as a result of that extra front wing uh, you want to increase your off throttle to 30 35 that range uh, to give you a little bit of stability in high speed otherwise your car is just going to uh, rot over rotate on the exit so you know play around with this maybe uh, you'll find a suitable amount you can go up to 40 for race that's okay yeah minimum geometry as well as usual and suspension not much changes here you can see it's a uh, fully stiff on the front with a little bit raised front right height because of that extra uh, front wing that you have right and with so much front bias on the arrow you need the front suspension to be stiff to be a lot more stable you can again play around with the front right height but uh, be careful with that and rear suspension is just on four with 58 rear right height it's about the same balance uh, with the one I had before and the rear anti-roll bar you can see it's a little bit stiffer which will give you a lot more rotation in high speed which is really nice in sector 2 and 3 I must say uh, so give that a try and if you can uh, live with it go for it right and uh, perhaps if you feel there's too much rotation you can always uh, increase the off throttle or you can reduce the rear anti-roll bar uh, whichever way to uh, give you a bit more stability in the setup and Mavis specialty in the brakes, 99% brake pressure. It's actually pretty nice in certain corners where you find it very easy to lock up, like turn 3 and turn 4. Uh, yeah, and in the rain especially, uh, 99 or 98% brake pressure, even 97 brake pressure works really nice in the rain. So if you have mixed condition race, you might want to think about running 98% or 99 brake uh, brake pressure. And brake bias, again, personal preference, same as the tyres full pressures there you go two setups for you to use uh, try it out play around with it you know leave your comments as well and uh, leave an appreciation for Mavis for providing the setups uh, we'll uh, see you in the next one which is going to be Silverstone where we have a great great lap coming from Mavis I'm pretty sure I can't beat that but uh, I'll do my best see you next time